<laughs> Please say ahoy to Cutthroat Cody! Welcome, welcome to Erie. <laughs> Okay, so today, doing something I don't know if I've ever done before. I bet you you've done it. Uh, I'm excited, nervous, and ready for it. We're going on a food tour here in Erie, Pennsylvania with Visit Erie. Visit Erie, a big thank you for sponsoring this entire trip and video. Um, and we're going on a food tour. I have no idea what to expect. I don't even know the kind of food that they have here, but we're heading to meet up with the group of people, and then we are heading to by the way, look at that view. Okay, so apparently for the food tour, we're meeting in the downtown area. So you're gonna get to see a little bit of the walk there. And at the same time, I'm guessing we're gonna be eating in that downtown area as well. Wow, look at Erie. Eerie, eerie, eerie. And even before we get to the tour, the one thing I will say about Erie that I really love a lot is it's so peaceful in the daytime. And one thing I've realized is I've said that to everyone here. I'm like, wow, it's so quiet in the day. They're always like, wait, just wait. Because in the night, it really comes alive. But during the day, I'm recording this on a Saturday. So it's Saturday, 1037 in the morning, and it is so peaceful. It's so peaceful. Usually I'm yelling, talking really loud, but no need, no need, no need to. Super peaceful by the water. Ah, and by the way, I'm really ready to eat. Haven't eaten since last night and really waiting this morning, no breakfast, because last night was such an amazing thing at the Bay House. If you guys are here, you have to go to the Bay House. This okay, can we talk about how good this food is? Better than the food, I'm about to show y'all something. Can y'all see that? That's here in Erie. How crazy is that? I had no idea about that. Erie. Wow. And my birthday. It's the service was spectacular, the food was fabulous, and the people that were all there were phenomenal. And they even had a little special thing for, uh, for my birthday. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Luke. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know, right? <laughs> hey, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Wow, so interesting. I saw these quotes on the wall, that B-roll you just saw, and I was like, what is this place? And it's actually the meeting point. It's actually the meeting point of the, of the food tour. So I uh, just wait for everyone to show up, and then we are hopefully gonna eat pretty soon. I'm hoping, I'm starving. It's been eerie. Never been to eerie. I know, I know. How is it taking you this long for a gem? No one ever talks about this gem, though. But that's why I'm here. I'm here to get you guys exposure. <laughs> Okay, so we're about to see 
see how this goes. It is a three hour tour. I don't think I knew that. So, uh, okay. Let's see what they got. So we're not having pizza, we're having something called a pepperoni ball. It's supposed to be uh, something famous up here. Robins, it's not something that was frozen, it's not something that was frozen and then reheated. Um, and that's true for everything that Steve Bose has to offer. Say, the pizza ball? It tastes like if you have the crust of a pizza and you just wrap the crust of a pizza in pepperoni. That's what it tastes like. It's good in little bites for me, but a lot of bread. A lot of bread for two pieces of pepperoni, but it's good. Have you done a food tour in Cleveland? I have not. I've, I've had apple pie moonshine. Okay, so if today's vlog seems to take a weird turn or I get off topic or the story's going a little odd or you see a lot more B-roll than normal, it's because we came here and we tried something called the apple pie moonshine. And the people are so nice and friendly and it's a tour, they're just giving us stuff. I'm gonna try to stay focused, but we're here to enjoy, as you're gonna learn a little bit as we learned in the my my Thai place. Um, life is short. You gotta live it. They said don't do too much. Chill, relax, and something about that's so important. We feel like we need to be busy, busy, busy. I need to do that. But sometimes it's great to just enjoy. And if that could be a little lesson of the day, it'd be to make sure you stop and smell the roses. Really stop and smell the roses. Be present with the roses. Don't stop to smell the roses for just smelling the roses' sake. So on that note, we're gonna continue the tour. I think we're at a meat place next, and then we're going to another place next, and all this kind of stuff. And one thing I learned also about here in Erie is it's kind of like New Orleans. You can walk around with your drinks. You can, everyone's super chill, super relaxed. Definitely approved. Cheers. One thing I always have to use as a disclaimer is that, yes, I am showing you a lot of the things here, but I'm not showing everything, but it's one of the things you have to experience. You can see through my experience and everything, but it's something you need to try for yourself. Come here and do it for yourself. I always say that in tours like this because you can sometimes think, well, I already saw the tour, I don't need to do it. But no, it's about you doing it and having your own experience. What I'm showing you is just my experience and just do what I capture on the lens. So definitely come and Try it for yourself. And one question I always ask, because you guys know, um, but the dragon fruit here in the States is white. Where, for example, in Thailand, uh, Vietnam, Indonesia, you guys saw the dragon fruit is actually the color of the dragon fruit. Because what you don't know is when you eat dragon fruit and you go to the bathroom, pooping, it's the same color. So, hmm, 
the lady said maybe it's how they grow them and mix them with other things here mm. but really good really really good and so food, I believe when it opened its outdoor classroom which they are now ripping out Wow, one interesting thing is we're walking on French Street and they said that this was a pivotal street for the Underground Railroad. For you all who don't know that, Underground Railroad was where the slaves would escape the South and head to the North because the lake is here, that's how they would try to get to Canada. And they had like a, a newspaper here, the Ab Abolition, I can't remember the name of the newspaper, but it would let people know things. They had a barbershop where they could fix up the slaves because of the... I can't remember the act that happened, but you could return slaves to the South back to their owners for a reward. So they really had to change their appearance and try to escape from here. And this was a huge street, very pivotal for, for that to happen. Very interesting. Um, and now a little B-roll to wrap up the food tour. He's making like fresh guacamole here. <laughs> and you took it off? Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, take care, huh? Bye. Hey, see you guys. Take care, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll see you, huh? Twenty fifth, right? Around that time. Awesome. See ya. <laughs> oh, and that wraps up the tour. Wow, Erie has so much to offer. Like I'm not even joking. Like so much, and no one ever talks about it. I've never heard anything about it ever. Food tour, and I swear. It feels like we didn't even see half the places here. And yeah, absolutely amazing. I'm so impressed. And whew, Erie, Erie Food Tour, it is a must. It is a must. And you probably start out at one of the best Thai foods I've ever had with Mike. If you go there, say hello from me. And on that note, thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching and joining me on my trip. And I'll speak to you all later. In the meantime, everyone always, always remember, get birthday cake cookie and to work hard be brave and don't forget to smile ciao